Guatemala, a strange and beautiful country many thousands of miles away. A country with lofty snow-crested mountains, mighty rivers and deep lakes, quaint little villages and picturesque natives. This is Guatemala on the surface, what a tourist might see if a tourist could ever get there. But under this superficial beauty lie many unsuspected dangers. Those mighty rivers run through treacherous jungle where wild animal life lurks in the shadows. Man-eating lions roam abroad. The deep lakes are infested with crocodile and alligators. And the natives may look picturesque, but are deadly to a white man. In the heart of this impenetrable jungle stand the ruins of all that is left of an ancient Mayan civilization, older far than Guatemala. The natives today are in great anger. Their ancient idol, the green goddess, has been snatched from the high altar. The high priest vows to avenge by a slow and torturing death the violator and desecrator of the sacred cathedral. But unknown to the natives, unknown even to the high priest, this stolen idol is more than a graven image. The hidden inside it is a secret formula for a new explosive, powerful and deadly enough to blow whole cities sky high, a potential menace to modern civilization, and a real menace should the formula fall into unscrupulous hands. Tarzan and his band of intrepid followers, both men and women, have faced untold dangers. Wild animals, hostile natives, a rival expedition of murderous crooks, and the horrors of fever-infested swamps to take the idol from the natives that the secret formula might be safe. At last successful, with the goddess in their possession, the Tarzan expedition starts on its long and arduous journey home. Everything's checked, Major Marley. Splendid. Well, I hope you have a nice trip to Livingston. Thank you. Goodbye, sir, and good luck. Miss Vaya? Goodbye. Goodbye, Tarzan. Goodbye, old man. Goodbye, George. Goodbye. Nothing to do now but go home, sir. Right, George. Homeward bound at last. With the green goddess. And our mission fulfilled, Martling. Yes. Thanks to you, old man. Our only remaining task is the safe return of this relic to civilization. Well, shall we proceed? Why sure. Not? I'll get Nakima and follow. Come on. Get your bearers ready. Put your best man on this. Powers here. I am Raglan. Well, Raglan. What success? Did you find the dead city? Yes. I found the dead city and the goddess. The goddess, eh? Well, where is it? Well, it was in my hands when... Uh... Oh, never mind the excuses. Where is the idol now? Uh, the uh, Martling Expedition has it. So the Martling Expedition has it, eh? Why, you infernal blunder, do you realize what your mistake means? We've lost a fortune. That green goddess contained the formula for ancient Mayan explosion. Any nation would give millions to get it. Millions. Well, I'd like to see you got it from that ape man. The ape man? Do you mean Tarzan? I wonder if you know what it means to be in the jungles with him on your trail. Any moment, a ladder will drop down out of a tree, lurking in the very shadows, his hands almost clutching your throat. Why, I tell you, man, I was lucky to get out of there with my life, let alone any goddess. Good 
Look here, Ragman. We still have a chance. I leave at once for the East Coast. I'll have Simon Blade meet you with his ship at Living. Now, there's only one trail leading to the Rio Dolphin, and the Martling expedition will have to travel on it to get to the river. Yeah. Now, what's to prevent you? I'm going over there. Now you've got men hidden on both sides of the ravine. Si, senor. Good. Espera. I wish Tarzan wouldn't lag behind us like this. Maybe something's happened to him. Ridiculous. What would happen to Tarzan? Well, you never can tell. Suppose, uh, suppose some of those monsters from the dead city has followed us. Well, you know, they may be right Don't on. be silly, George. There isn't anything to fear any longer. Compañeros. Are you all right? I think so. I still have to get that code book from Martling. You watch the goddess while I see what I can do. Yes, yes. The goddess! It's gone! What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you that those fellas from the ruins would be on our trail? Whoever stole the goddess had no connection with the dead city, George. Well, whom do you suspect, then? It wouldn't surprise me if it were Raglan. What about the document? Thank heaven they didn't get it. The code is no good without the goddess. 
Without this document, the thief dare not open the goddess. He'd be blown to atoms by the secret explosive it contains. Then there's still a chance to recover the goddess. Have the porters make camp. Tomas, prepare camp here. What happened? Right. Take your time, Martin. It was Ragwin. The book. Gone. You two men go to Mantique and send that message from the radio office. If all goes well, I'll meet you at Port Barrios. Let me see what's bothering you. Well, no wonder you're limping. Yeah. All right, I'll have it out in a moment. There it is.
12. What about Raglan? Did you see him? Raglan caught the boat before the barrier. I'm sorry to have failed, Martin. But if we get to start for the river at once, we can signal the next boat and catch Raglan there. We'll break camp at once. All right, George. They see us. Our better plan would be to search the cantina. Raglan would most likely hide in some out-of-the-way place. Let's split here. I'll go through this neighborhood, and you can search the other parts of town. Glenda, I have to go to the cable office anyhow. I'd like to go along with you, Major, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Your friend has sent no message. I'm going to my room. If anyone inquires for me, I'm not there. You understand? Perfectly. time to waste looking for you when I return. Uh, I'll be over in that bench and I'll stay right there. I'll see that you do. Uh, no, sir. Oh, I, I mean, yes, sir. the meaning of this? Well, you see, sir, uh, I sat down on that bench with the best of intentions. But this guy insisted that I see Portavarius. And besides, he had my yo-yo. 
Tom. Yes, sir. No. <sighs> Search is ended, Martling. What do you mean? Raglan was on that balcony just a moment ago. What are you going to do? Jungle tracking for me. I'd like to see Mr. Raglan. There's no one here by that name. He means with another name. I've already told you he is not here. Very well. We'll wait for him. Badly, old man. Gee, I'd think all your bones would be broken. <laughs> I'm all right, George. Why then? What happened? I found Raglan in the room up there and attempted to get the idol, but... Listen, you get some native bears, and we'll meet you at the south end of town. All right, Chief. You can certainly be thankful. You recovered the code. Yes. But if I hadn't been too impulsive, you might have the goddess too. What is it? It's a clue to Raglan's root and plan. Look. Let us find some bears and start at once. We must stop Raglan before he meets the others. Here, you better take care of this. Say, hey, what's the idea, Chief? What's the hurry? Tarzan, he might be on our trail. Not a chance. Not after falling off that balcony, he will. He must have broken his neck. Not Tarzan. He's got more lives than the jungle animals he plays with. You wait back there for me. If Tarzan comes, you'll be needing all the men. Don't worry, we'll handle him. 
All right, boys. Come on. Hey, I wonder if the chief is right about Tarzan being on our trail. Ah, oh, that chief is crazy. I tell you, that guy Tarzan is as dead as a mackerel. No, let's hold him until the chief gets back. Then we can force him to tell where Martin is and get the code book back. All right, get a rope from this pack and we'll tie him up. That'll hold him until the chief gets back. What was that? You asking me?
We were just obeying orders. Come here. Where's Raglan? On the head somewhere. He didn't want anyone to know where he hit the guard All right. Get out of here, both of you. And don't stop till you get to Fort Abarius. Trail, George. Maybe he's hiding somewhere, trying to open the goddess. Raglan, Emmanuel may be following him. You go that way, George, and see if his trail leaves the river. I'll scout along the top of the bank. Yes, sir. No. We lost his trail down near the river. George is searching the other way. Major, really, there was, there was stuff. 
Oh, your cone broke. I'll get it. Oh, oh. 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 We've got to get that book. Major Marthing. He must be somewhere at the top of the falls. Si, sí, señorita. to the goddess. The book is safe, Tarzan. But how? Where? You dropped it when we brought you ashore. But Raglan made his escape with the goddess. We saw him headed downstream in a cayuca. Then I'll hurry after him at once. What is it, Mango? Speak English. Black devil. Uh, take away. Mm, Senor Muslim, Senor George. Black devils? What do you mean? Hey. He means Queen Maya's monsters. The black robe emissaries of the high priest. Take your men and return to camp. And you? I'm going to try to pick up their trail. But Tarzan! Should he come, senorita? No. We're heading for the dead city. If Tarzan loses their trail, we may be able to help. But senorita, those black devils... Never mind, hurry up.
Kevin, we escaped without any casualties. Say, what would happen to Raglan if the monsters caught him with the goddess? I don't think they will, George. By now, Raglan's probably found a safe refuge. Don't give up hope, Major. We may yet catch Raglan. 
When I saw him heading downstream, I sent one of my men after him. You either return with news or send word. Look, someone's coming. It must be Lopez. The messenger my man said he'd sent from Antique. Bien, gracias. News of Raglan? Yes, Senor Lopez. Raglan seems to be waiting for someone at Manteque. But whom? Jose does not yet know. Well, is Jose still watching Raglan? Oh, si, senor. And there's a strange sailing ship laying off the shore south of Manteque. And Jose thinks that possibly those whom Raglan's waiting for are on board that boat. I'd like to see that mysterious ship. The Cayuca won't carry all of us, so I'll cut through the jungle and meet you at Manteque. Hands off that goddess. It'll be the last time you meddle in my business. Will you? Oh, the goddess. Quick, we better get out of here. We have a car back on the road. Good. All right, now get my party together and be aboard within an hour. So. That'll be fine, Major. Empty handed, huh? Sailing without the goddess. And who's the bungler now? Well, mister, the contents, the jewels, and the formula are aboard this ship now. You mean that Markling has chartered this vessel? Exactly. You wanted to escape you? I made it my business to see that this was the only ship available. My blade, that's very clever. Very, very clever. 
Well, why not get what we want? And get rid of these people. Oh, no. You've made too many mistakes already. I'm running this from now on. I warned you. Uh, don't show that ugly mug on deck. I put our best cabin at your disposal, Miss Vale. I hope you'll be comfortable. Thank you. I know I will be. It isn't often these days we have a lady aboard. I suppose not, Captain. I know you're going to have a very pleasant voyage. I'm sure of it. Now, Major, if you'll excuse me, I'll give orders to set sail. Linda. Well, homeward bound at last. <laughs> Blow up with your board, mate, Captain. Nice fellow, the captain. Nice. Okay, too nice. Break out, old man, mate. All right, mate. Go off. Stand your
this may be it. Can you read it, Martin? Yes. Uh, partly. This is undoubtedly the formula. in the crystal and seen that it's much too dangerous to be in anyone's hands. So with Major Martling's permission, I'll destroy it. Now that the document is destroyed? More than compensated, sir, then. Meeting and learning to know you is well worth any hardship. I'm the one who is grateful, Eula, for having met you. Then we both owe much to that little partner. 